that's a little better but as i was saying we're starting off this vlog with a little hair maintenance at home hair care routine i am about to touch up my roots because they are so bad right now i have gray hair i have been growing gray hair since i turned like 25 i believe and i completely blame my dad and his genes I believe he is the reason why I've been growing gray hair since the age of 25 and right now they're like really peeking through I don't know if you'll be able to tell I don't know if you can tell but they're like really really peeking through right now the last touch-up I had was the end of 2023 beginning of the new year I've been pretty much touching up my own hair ever since i went back natural to my natural hair color i did have like a balayage lighter hair um two three years ago but then i decided to just stick with my natural hair color something about like natural hair that i feel looks the best on me and i feel like that's just where i'm at in my life i want natural i want classic and yeah i'll show you guys in a moment everything that i use and this isn't going to be a tutorial by any means i'm not a professional i've only done this a few times but i thought i'd share just how i touch up my hair at home every few months because I know salon prices are a little bit crazy right now. I totally get it. There's certain things that I'm like willing to spend the money on, like my nails, for example. I don't think I will ever have the patience, the skill set to do my own nails at home. I've tried looking up so many tutorials and like videos on how to do it, but knowing me, mm -mm, mm -mm. I, I can't do it so my nails is something that I will always pay the price for but when it comes to like freshening up my roots or things like that I can do that at home so we're about to do that right now okay I think that's as good as it's gonna get but everything that I'm going to be using for my hair I got at Sally's and I ended up picking a new hair color bottle kit because the bottle that I used last time i broke it so i needed um, a new bottle and then some gloves then for the actual hair color i'm using the ion darkest intense brown in the number 2nn and it's the brilliant 12 permanent gloss hair color i don't know if you can read that but i'll link this down below i think previously i when i dyed my hair i used the 3nn which is the shade of lighter than this but it did come out a little bit lighter than I thought, so I am trying the darkest intense brown. This is the darkest brown that they have. For the developer, I'm using the 20 volume developer by the same brand, Ion. Ion, Ion, I believe it's Ion. Ion? I'm not sure. But this is from the previous hair dye that I did. I have a little bit left, so I ended up getting like a smaller one just in case I needed some more also picked up their intense moisture conditioner this is for color treated hair and it's also by the same brand so i'll use this once i let the hair sit and i wash out my hair i'll use it with this but like i said this isn't going to be a tutorial per se because i just follow the box but if you are dyeing your hair at home for the first time don't make the same mistake that i did have all of your supplies out and ready to go and i did not have anything prepared i didn't have all of my utensils and like my tools and things out i just started like dyeing my hair and then i realized oh i need a towel oh i need to open this and it was just a mess so little tip for you have all of your things ready it sounds like common sense but it like past my mind the last time and then right now i'm just adding some vaseline to the side of my um head and then i'm gonna add some on the back of my neck just just so the hair dye doesn't stain just wearing this old crew neck sweater that i never really wear um so if it gets stained it's all right i also want to trim my hair but i think i'm going to do that after right now i have the butterfly haircut that's that's trending a lot on tiktok i believe it's just the hairstyle that has like the curtain bangs and then you have 
um, a bunch of layers in the front and honestly I regret getting that haircut only because I have finer hair and that haircut only looks good when your hair is actually done and like curled and styled if you have straight hair I wouldn't recommend getting that that style unless you plan on doing your hair every single day and if you have thin hair like me I also don't recommend getting that haircut because it just doesn't look the same as someone who has like really thick hair so lesson learned never getting that haircut again so right now i right now it's okay like when my hair is down it's usually styled i don't really wear it straight anyways but it just sucks that in order for my hair to look good down it has to be styled i can't just like get up and go i'm trying to let my shorter layers um grow out and just a little fyi if you're thinking of getting the butterfly haircut i don't know if you guys are familiar but with the ion brand their instructions are like inside the box i did not realize that the first time that i used this brand so i was like trying to figure it out on my own because i had ripped the instructions off okay so i actually just watched um a tutorial on youtube just to get some like more tips but i am going to put two ounces of developer in here per one tube of hair color and i'm only using one tube so i'm only going to do two ounces And then I'm just going to put the whole tube of hair dye in here. I just feel like it's cleaner and easier than using this. Last time I used this and it was just really messy. Okay, so I'm going to put my gloves on, mix the developer and hair dye, and then start applying it. The video that I watched, also I'm going to double up on the gloves because, girl, the last time I dyed my hair my hands were stained for like three four days and i just got my nails done like you saw in i believe it was my last vlog i got a fresh set and everything and um i do not want to stain these nails especially because i'm going out this weekend and we don't want stained nails so i'm probably gonna double up so the tutorial that i saw on youtube it actually said that if you're dyeing your grays they suggested to start at the root because um gray hair is pretty stubborn and it takes a while for it to i guess absorb which is not normally how i dye my hair i usually start at the bottom and work my way up but we're gonna try it that way I'm gonna tell you this one time Boy, I want you to be mine Can I come see you now? Can I lay with you outside? Can I touch your lips with mine? Cause I need you I didn't end up using the whole bottle i still had a little bit left so i probably could have used like half of the hair dye and half of the developer but it's fine so i'm gonna let this sit for like 35 minutes and then i'll show you guys the end result okay so i am done with my hair and it came out really nice i think it covered the grays so it did what it needed to do and my hair just feels like refreshed and and like brand new again i don't know if you'll be able to tell yeah i don't know if you can really tell but grays are covered my hair is refreshed 
and this process was actually a lot cleaner than the last time i did it there was like no mess i didn't get anything on my nails i'm pretty proud of myself like i did a good job and i didn't make a mess so pat on my back for that but um i just shot some content i did a sephora haul for tiktok and don't know how that came out because while i was filming my cats of course every single time that i decide to film or do something they want to get the zoomies but let it be any other time they're chilling they're sleeping they're just doing their thing but as soon as i hit the record button girl it's like that's their cue to just mess things up for me so and then i also shared like um a new find that i got from sephora on my instagram stories it's actually i think i put it away already but it's the dr jart plus bb cream that i shared in my last vlog when i did my sephora haul i shared on my stories that i tried it today and i really like it um it, i'm wearing it right now and i feel like it's a really natural pretty bb cream like for everyday use if you're into the clean girl natural makeup look like it's super skin like and i don't know i really like it i do have to um add a little bit more powder just because i am an oily gal but for the most part i really like it it's super natural very easy to apply the finish is very natural a pretty productive day i worked on my podcast outline i'm gonna record and edit it tomorrow it's all about self-love since um the podcast is going out the week of valentine's day and i think this video is too um so the topic is all about self-love my journey towards self-love things that i had to learn and unlearn in order to cultivate self-love and also i'm sharing some things that i do to practice self-love so i worked on that today i got ready i filmed some content don't even know how that came out and that's pretty much it honestly we've been keeping it chill taking it slow this week this has not been my most productive week if i'm completely honest um i worked out once this week on monday <laughs> haven't worked out since and um I've been keeping my workload minimal this week. I don't know. It's just the weather. It's just I haven't been feeling the most productive. But honestly, honestly, for the first time in my whole life, I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel guilty. I don't feel this sense of pressure. I don't feel like, oh my God, I, I should be doing this. I should be doing that. I don't feel none of that for the first time in my life and it feels really good one thing that i'm like really working on really really working on implementing in my life is not feeling pressure to be perfect every single day to be super productive every single day and also being okay with having days where maybe i wake up at 8 a.m maybe i have a slower morning maybe i only do one thing on my to-do list and that's it and really being okay with that like truly i don't know what it is about me i don't know if it's because i'm the oldest daughter oldest child um i don't know if it's because the way that i grew up but i have always felt like throughout my entire life that I always had to be doing something and resting, relaxing, taking it slow is not something that comes naturally to me. Learning to let go of all of that. Don't get me wrong, I love the days when I am super productive and I'm like feeling it and I'm like getting things done and it feels good. But I also have to realize that not every day is going to be like that either and that's okay. Some days are going to be more chill. Some days are going to be less about productivity and more about like enjoying yourself, enjoying life and things like that. And that's also important as well. And I am also in this season of my life where I am rediscovering myself and it's really exciting. I'm having more fun. I'm okay with having 
a little less structure a little less routine in my life just going with the flow a little bit more and it's a nice change of pace and i just feel like i'm finding a better balance in my life i think working hard is important focusing on your personal goals and yourself is important but it's also important to have fun to relax to enjoy life to spend time with the people that you love and for a while i really haven't had that balance to me it's for me it's been all work no play and i don't want to live that way you know like what's the point in working so hard and doing all these things if you're not enjoying your life if you're not enjoying yourself so <laughs> so in this season of my life i'm just working on finding more of that balance and i feel like i'm doing a good job of it so far and i'm just really i'm really happy I Just prepping for dinner. I'm making Alfredo with crispy chicken. I'm just chopping up the garlic. Sometimes I like to do like occasion Alfredo, which is really, really good. But I think today I might just stick to the classic. But we'll see because I always say that and then at the end I always end up adding Cajun seasoning because I love, love, love Cajun. But I think today we're gonna keep it simple. So sorry if the lighting keeps changing. The sun is setting and it's like really cloudy out so the lighting's like very inconsistent right now but speaking of i've been noticing that it's getting darker later and that makes me so happy <laughs> because i mean spring is around the corner got my crispy chicken cooking these are the noodles that I've been using. Um, this is the brand Colavita. These fettuccine noodles are so like soft and just buttery and they taste so good. I usually use like the other brands. I don't think I have any. Oh yeah, I do. I typically use this brand for pastas the barilla mm -mm. after trying the other brand there's absolutely no comparison mm. they just cook so well so good but anyways because I'm already so tired and it's only like 8.50, 8.48 p.m. I still have to make my sleepy girl mocktail. So I already know, I already know. I'm gonna get some good sleep. I just started my dishwasher, so if you can hear commotion, sorry about that. But I need to hydrate, I need to get my water for tonight. This is my tumbler that I've been using. I showed before, this is my new tumbler. I used to have a white one that I got off Amazon, did not like that because it kept leaking. And it didn't have a handle, which made it really awkward to carry. This one has a handle. 
doesn't leak. I've dropped this like a million times already. Doesn't spill, doesn't dent. I got this off Amazon. It's by Simple Modern. I'll link it below. But I love this. So like I said, I just finished cleaning up from dinner. I am about to make my sleepy girl drink, get my water for the night, and I'm gonna take this makeup off for the night and start unwinding, do my journaling, plan for tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to record and edit my podcast. And that's pretty much it. Tomorrow is a super um, chill day for the most part. Um, recording and editing my podcast usually takes me a good few hours, so that'll take up most of my day. But other than that, um, that's all I really have going on. And then Saturday, we are celebrating my boyfriend's birthday. Um, his, his real birthday is on Sunday the 11th, but that's Super Bowl Sunday, and he wants to watch the game. So we're celebrating Saturday, which I'm really excited for. In the morning, we're going to do an escape room, which I've never actually done before. That was so good. Tonight's dinner was so bomb, but I have to make sure I hydrate because, as I was saying, Saturday we're celebrating my boyfriend's birthday. In the morning, we're doing like an escape game room situation, which I've never done before, so I'm looking forward to that. And then um, we have a little break in the afternoon, and then in the evening, I'm taking him to dinner at one of our favorite restaurants downtown. It is so good. Um, we've been there a few times and we really like it there. So we're going to go out, get dressed up, have a nice dinner. And then that's pretty much it. And then Sunday is his actual birthday, but we're going to keep it chill, watch the game. Well, he's going to watch the game. I will be around while he watches the game. I'm not, I'm not a sports person. I don't care about anything i don't care about the super bowl i'll watch it to watch the commercials and like the halftime show i don't even know who's playing i don't know who's performing i think it's usher if i'm not mistaken i think it's usher but yeah i'm not a sports girly it is what it is but that's just me anyways i'm gonna make my sleepy girl drink so we could take off this makeup start unwinding for the day and get some good sleep because I am tired. I ain't got a clue, bro. I touched that five for you. I do that three, but times again, I testify for you. I told I like you, that bitch, I do it all, and I'm over. I'm just kidding, do it. I'm not. As long as you joking, now it for me. I ain't got it. I've been skimming, looting, hide your body. As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem. I don't got nobody just with you right now. But the truth, I look better under you. Hi, guys. So I'm about to take my everything shower, wash my hair, deep condition, scrub, shave, do the whole works. But first I wanted to do a little Ulta haul. I just got back from Ulta. I originally needed to get some, um, some eyelash glue because I'm actually, for the first time in like so long, wearing falsies. We're going on a little dinner date tonight. I wanted to do something, something a little cute. So. I'm about to shower and start getting ready for that, but first and foremost, Ulta haul. So the first thing that I got are these total sponge sets just from e.l.f. And they're three different sizes and three different shapes. So this one is like your sick sponge. This one is a little bit smaller. And then this one is like a triangular shape. And then I also picked up a new lip liner from MAC. I got the shade stripped down, which I think 
This is the MAC lip liner that I already have that's like about to run out. I've had it for such a long time. It's about to finish, so this is what it looks like. I'll probably use this tonight. I'll, I'll probably do like my go-to lip combo that I've been doing. I also got the e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer. I've seen this all over TikTok, and this one is supposed to be really, really good, so I'm excited to try this out. For tonight, I wanted to use this. And then I got the eyelash glue that i originally went into L ulta for this is just a strip lash adhesive it's clear it's by the brand kiss nothing too special there and the last thing that i picked up that i'm really excited to try tonight is the nude mood pressed powder palette by colourpop i'm so excited to be adding um eyeshadow back into my collection because i did get rid of all if not most of um my eyeshadow palettes that i did once have because i just wasn't really wearing eyeshadow like that and i felt it was unnecessary to have don't mind the mess in the background i'm currently washing my sheets but that is pretty much everything that i got from ulta today i am going to shower and start getting ready for tonight and i'll probably check in with you guys a little bit later before i head out okay i'm debating do i want to do matte lips or gloss i think i'm going to add a little bit of the elf lip oil in honey talks i think yeah honey talks i'm like out of breath right now because i'm running late i was i wanted to film a little quick get ready with me for um instagram but i mm -mm, that's not gonna happen i need to go like now but i just wanted to show you guys before i leave you, can, you can't even tell what i'm wearing but i'm wearing my purple blouse that i got from zara i showed in a haul like two vlogs ago it's kind of see-through and the only thing i have is this black bralette and i don't have anything else like that i can put under just doing purple on top black everywhere else and a little bit of gold jewelry and then for my scent i'm doing the maker naked perfume it smells it smells like grown woman that's all i can really describe it it's not super sweet but it's also not super musk i really like it though this is our scent of the day our look of the night i should say i need to put my shoes on and we need to head out and i'll see you guys over there <laughs>